is of television continental tvc tvc news not t television continental no, not tvc uh, news okay hi you good to see you let's see you Winga. and of course across the aisle chebale luzo is here chebale is head of station abuja channel's television Chabali, good to see you. Thank you. Good morning. And of course, uh, Ayo, I'm mean, sorry, Fisayo uh, Ugufui is also here. Fisayo is of Nigerian Television Authority, NT. Fisayo, good to see you. Thanks, sir. Again. And of course, collectively, let's welcome our guest, uh, the Honorable Minister of the FCT, His Excellency Chief Jesus. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, since the last time we were here, a lot has happened. Let's start from some of the important ones. Uh, the FCT now has a budget for 2024, 1.27 or 28 trillion. How is that impacting on the uh, infrastructural revolution that we've been seeing now? <coughs> if you say how is it impacting, or how will it impact? Uh, because the budget was just assented to yesterday by Mr. President, okay. and by the grace of God, the the clerk of national assembly will transmit it to us uh, latest let me say tomorrow because today is the beginning of work after the easter uh, holiday but i can tell you having assented to that uh, appropriation uh we will immediately go in for the necessary things in terms of uh, infrastructure we are still now with the 2023 appropriation, which has been extended. The national budget was extended to uh, June this year, and our two statutory budget was extended to June this year. But this 2024 budget, which has been extended, uh, will have to start the implementation. Basically, the budget has to do with capital and recurrent. We tried as much as we could to make sure that the, the, the capital expenditure is far much higher than the current expenditure. I would say almost 70% uh, of the capital expenditure. And of that, we have to make sure that 58% of that goes for ongoing projects. We don't need to abandon uh, projects that have been awarded before we came. And then we have to take 42% for new uh, projects. So, uh, frankly speaking, it is going to revolutionize infrastructure as far as the FCT is uh, concerned. Not only road networks, also in health, in education is very key. If you just watched uh, some few weeks ago, we flagged up the renovation of uh, over 19 schools. Uh, that has to do with the 2023 budget. But for this 2024 budget, we are going to have not less than 21 schools again that we have to bring to the standard that can say, yes, this additional is a school. Uh, yes, additional 21. Uh, that this is a standard. At least you can say, okay, uh, this school meets all the standards that it requires in terms of uh, facilities, you know. And then look at the health sector. Most of the general hospitals another here nor there so we're taking uh, the otako general hospital the wawada general hospital and the wawimpa general hospital to bring it to the standard that it requires so uh, i believe by the grace of god that the the budget will be very impactful uh, to the residents of uh, abuja for those schools what, what's the big plan i mean beyond the renovation of those schools what about the teachers. Is there any plan for them? Of course. Uh, of course. You talk about the training and retraining. And we're just talking about capital expenditure. Okay. Of training and retraining has to do with current uh, expenditure. That is not under capital uh, expenditure. Uh, of course, we have a provision for training and retraining of our teachers to bring them to the, to the standards. And of course, uh, even if a teacher is employed for the past, you require to train them and retrain them so that they will be up to the level that is uh, required for them to impact meaningfully on uh, their children. So that is the idea. I didn't talk about the current, but that provision for training 
I'll return. We stay with the capital and the schools, capital expenditure and the schools. Uh, how do we, did you get to, you know, in terms of the um, identifying the schools, the 21 schools? Is it about spread? Are you thinking of the area councils as well? In of terms course, of how we chose the schools of course. that are benefiting from Of course, take for example, when we went to the gifted school, it's not in the city here, it's in the, I think, uh, Guagulada. It's in Guagulada. So what we did was to tell the education secretary to go to the, all the area councils, identify schools that are in deplorable condition. It is not possible to talk all at the same time. It is not possible. It has to be taken step, this one today, this one, this period, you know. Um, so it's like spread, you know, to make sure it covers the entire six area councils, yes. How do you intend to finance over one trillion naira? Now, let, let me tell you, our uh, idea has to do um, basically with our IGL. Now, that one thing has to do because we are taking loan from the bank. And that's one of the advantages of putting up from uh, the TSA. Now, if, by the grace of God, you say that we are having um, 20 or 25 billion every month, for example, uh, for our IGL. Now, if we rely on that, then it's at the end of the month, you take this 20 or 25 billion to share to contractors for this department, for that. We may not make any meaningful progress. Now, what we have done is just okay, can we have a loan from the banks for almost half a trillion? And it will be spread how many years? Five years. Now, we pay to the bank, say every month, you take like 10 billion now. So at the end of the year, the bank is collecting about 120 billion, right? Now you have this 500 billion with you. So what you do is, okay, project A, this is how much we're going to spend. Project B, this is how much we're going to spend. Project C, this is how much we're going to spend. Now, you now know, within this year, or next two years, this project would have started and would have completed. And there will not be issue of you not paying the contractors or issue of variation coming. Because the funds are there now. And the contractors are happy because these funds have been tied to various specific uh, 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 projects. Now, spending 10 billion or taking 10 billion does not mean that that's entire money. We still have money left. So use that to play around for certain uh, pursuit. It is going to create a situation where people will wonder what is going on. This strategy is what I have used when I was governor, and it has paid off. So it's not a question of you waiting for every month, you know, uh, this is what has come. Then you begin to split, you know, one billion naira to this, 500 uh, million naira to that. At the end of the day, you've not achieved anything. But with the fund with you now, you'll be able to say, can I finish Otaku Hospital in two years' time? Yes. Why? The fund is there. available. Can I finish this road in one year or two years' time? Yes, because the fund is there. available. And not to contract us like to hear that the funds are available. And you can actually, you be, before you know it, you have turned around the entire place. And that's what is going on today in Abuja. I'm talking, talking about the uh, here alone, implementation at the end of the day. That's what I'm saying. I have told you here. It's very easy. It's very easy. I mean, I have told you, okay, take for example, we have this front. We have, we have, we have outlined projects in the budget. What are the projects you want to back up on? So simple. When you are passed through the procurement process, I'll say road A, for example. And road A is going to cost us forty billion dollars. And what is the time within which this road A must it must get done? Sixteen months, two years, for example. It's okay. Put down some amount of money for road A. The contractors are aware that this fund is there. 
and we make sure that the jobs are done. So what is the implementation? <laughs> it's very simple. Do you need to hire anybody to come and see whether the jobs are done or not? Think, for example, on Saturday I was at the site, right, to go and see certain projects. Have they paid you the money? And I'm coming to check whether the job is going on. And of course, all the contractors on that Saturday said, I asked, do you have problem funding? He said, no. Hmm. They have no problem funding. And so the work is moving. So even, even when, when we are supposed to pay, they look, we have no problems. We know you, you will pay. Let's go on doing the job. That, that confidence has been built. That confidence has been created. Which is what is lacking. Because when contractors don't have confidence with their client, it's a problem. We don't know whether this client will pay. Do we go ahead and do this job? At the end of the day, we may have taken loan from the, from the bank. And now we're hearing different uh, stories. So that confidence has been built, and which is key. Well, what if, yeah. we, if we stay with you know, the ongoing projects, before we go to you know, the new budget and some of the plans you have, the ongoing projects and your interactions with the contractors you know, uh, handling those projects, are they on schedule? Very much on schedule. Very much on schedule. In fact, um, after the shutdown, we had meeting by 12 or 2 of all the contractors handling projects that will be commissioned in May. In May this year. So, listen, we are sitting down now. To what extent are you done? Are you still recommitting yourself that look, everything will be done uh, 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 in May? Yes. No. Why no? What's the problem? Why no? Uh, when we were in uh, Osex, if you have that interchange at the Asokoro Junction, the the CGC pleaded that talking to the public for them to uh, make some temporary sacrifice because there will be diversion of traffic. I said, look, what do people want? Is that whether you divert traffic for one month or not, is it material to them? But at the end of the day, will the job be done? Yeah. As I'm coming out of office, I can see that the diversion that they've started and go and see the amount of work. And they have promised that it will be handed over in May. Right? Now, the funding is not a problem. So, they don't have any problem. But why we're meeting with them today is to say, to, be, to reassure us. Because we have already given Mr. President the assurance that we will be ready for this and this and this and that. So, all we are trying to make sure that everything is done. Yes, Company A, are you sure? Company B, are you sure? Uh, on Saturday, we were in the B6, B12, which has been handled by uh, Jules Beggar. They said, look, we are ready. But I, but I ask questions. How can you say you are ready? Because I said, look, we have already programmed our job. So you don't need to be worried. If we are we're not going to be ready, we will not okay. tell you this. So since you are doing things differently, just this one, are you also publishing these amounts, how much projects cost, so of that people can see all those things <laughs> online somewhere. That is, that is, that's very, you know, I came and made the projects. Yeah. Before the commissioning, we'll be able to say when this project was awarded. The kind of history of each project. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, we have to give history. This project was awarded so so period. This was the initial cost. This was the variation. This was what we met. I see where we we are. I am not on our own since I came. Most of you projects, that will be. The only one I can say um, is the VP's uh, residence, which was awarded in 2010 at a cost of 7 billion naira. 2010. We're in 2024. Mm -hmm. 14 years ago, vice president's residence, but ought to be his official residence. Of course, George Beckham said, look, we can't continue with such a, a rate. But Nigerians are finding it difficult to even understand that the FCT is committed to building an official residence for the vice president. They don't know that the vice president since 1999 has no official residence. Perhaps, well, it's not that, 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 that they know. It's only mischief makers 
You know, people just say all kind of things. I am one presidential uh, candidate who don't even ask questions. He start talking. How can they award contract to build? The contract was not awarded by this administration. Because I was awarded 2010. And because of lack of payment, the contractors, Jerus Vega, pulled out of sight. And are you saying that we should not abandon it after we have spent some amount of uh, money? We said, no. Look, let's go back to the project, complete it. And the contractors said, look, we can continue with this cost. And of course, everybody knows. And came up. And Frank said, okay, we are willing to complete this project. And so the time thing, I said, are you sure if we pay you, you'll be able to complete this project at so, 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 so time? It's one of the projects I felt that Mr. Perry should be able to commission. And Josbega said, if you pay us the money, we can assure you, we'll deliver. And the location of the project was it such that you could turn a blind eye to it and say, we'll continue to leave this ugly scene? Uh... First of all, when, they, when you have conceived the project and federal government approves that project, why would it not, because of location, you can abandon it? No, what I mean is whether it was a, a place sensitive enough not to have that kind of project abandoned. It is not for you to have identified that area, that this is suitable for a vice president to have his uh, official residence. You see, within the filial access. That's important. Yes, it's, it's very important. And just, 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 in fact, for me, whether it's a vice president or not, the mere fact is a, is a public uh, 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 project. Why do you need to abandon it? Why do you need to abandon it? In fact, that was the one they were building for the leadership of the National Assembly, also by Julius Beggar. Leadership of the National Assembly, also by Julius Beggar. Abandoned. And, and when I look at the cost, I said, look, we can't take all this, all this together. How much was the cost? I, I may not be able to remember. But I, I, I looked at it that we may not be able to carry the two at the same time. Look at the federal secretary. He said, I wanted to Jules Beggar. Long ago, the first phase, as I came now, I said, look, you must have to complete this. Is that I saw, by the grace of God, this project will be handed over in May this year. They were talking about the second phase. Let's look. Let's complete the first uh, phase before we now talk about uh, re re awarding the second uh, phase. I know some, some people might be interested in knowing in concrete terms. Now uh, you've mentioned the secretariat you're handing over in May. Now this vice president's residence and metro line, are they coming on stream as well? Yes, I can, I can speak to you authoritatively now that by the grace of God we can save 95% of the metro line. Okay. Let me give us a rundown of the pro projects that are slated for condition. How? I, I, okay, let me see what I can remember. So many of them. There are so many. Oh, there are so many. Okay. Um, we have the Satan Parkway, which is being done by Setraco. We have uh, B6, B12, which is being done by Jules Beggar. We have the uh, VP system, which is being done by Jules Beggar. Maybe it would be better if you explain where they are and the significance uh, of no, no, if, if, uh, why would I tell you the significance of road? Uh, I live in Abuja, I don't know where, I don't no, know no, where. I mean, where generally, I want to say Southern Parkway, which is the one you are taking from the uh, Christian Center. You know, I myself, even from the midst of uh, our city, I cannot say that I can um, identify what is, what is called, but I know that social project is being handled by social company. So I've identified the Southern Parkway, which is being done by Central Park. I've identified uh, <coughs> the uh, Wuye interchange, okay. Wuye, which, so is been, which is being done by Arab contractors. I've identified the OSEX, uh, which is being done by the uh, CGC. I've identified the, the Northern Pathway N20, which is being done by uh, Gilmore. I've identified the Guzape, which is also being carried out by Gilmore. I've identified uh, that this one which is being completed now by Salini. Salini, what they are doing now is the road uh, uh, marking. 
I've identified the a metro line. I also identified all the access road to the uh, stations. We have about five, six access roads from communities to these uh, stations. Mm -hmm. all, all will be ready. Talking about okay. the metro line briefly, the, the trains themselves, uh, the commuter trains, the train head and all, they're when all are there. they arriving? No, they're all there. If you, if you, if, How many? If we, I think we have about 12 or 20, something like that. But if you ask me, if I was, uh, um, if I was involved when the conception, I wouldn't have liked the configuration, the way the train, you know. I, for me, it's not befitting. It's not befitting, but, hmm. excuse me, I don't know you can uh, do at this, uh, uh, at this old stage. locomotive. No, 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 that. I'm talking about the, 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 the city, Arabian. Okay. You know, for me. That is where it starts from and stops from, or what? No, I'm talking about the city. city, 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 city uh, the for me, yeah. it's not, it's not uh, a befitting. But what is important that uh, we're able to complete it, we're able to put it to, uh, to be functional, and then at the end of the day, the public will, uh, mm. will use it. The train okay. stops and the feeder roads? Every, yes, everything. Everything has been done. If you don't mind to talk a little bit more about one of the issues you highlighted previously, which is the health sector. We've been to some of these hospitals and there are several people who are there who can't afford out-of-pocket payments, which is what subsists in a lot of areas. Health insurance, not exactly cutting it for a lot of people. There are shortage of best spaces in FCT. You said you want to build some of these hospitals. Could you be a little more specific? Which areas do you plan to build? Is you there know, any completion time? You know, you know, is, is it going to be affordable no. or something? No, well, you see, it, 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 the problem we, we, we always face. How do you build a hospital without the required uh, facilities? When you say uh, shortage of best space, every hospital has its own number of best space as, as prescribed. So for example, I want to build 100 uh, number of best space. Do, do you understand me? So you will say the number of beds is uh, uh, short. That is what, from, from, from the conception, what has been planned to do. So you cannot say, because there are so many people coming, therefore the beds should be increased. No. No. It is not done that way. No, we're not asking that they be increased. No, it's no, to no, provide you, you, more no, facility for is, those people. We are saying that, look, if you go to Guarimpa, there must be it is not a standard, what you call a hospital, that's the point I'm trying to say. Which means you are bringing in facilities that will make it to be a standard uh, hospital. That, that's the point we're trying to, to make. When you say affordable, you know, we always want to live a life where things are like uh, free for everything. We're not in a socialist uh, 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 regime. We're not. Things are very expensive, I agree. But government hospitals are not as expensive as private uh, hospitals. And mind you, to run a hospital is not an easy thing. It's not a joke. So government tries as much as they could to, you know, to uh, subsidize the, 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 the amount to be paid. So what but but, but we, yeah. we always, I'm not the management of the hospital. I cannot sit here to tell you this is what is going to happen. Because I'm not a professional. In that, uh, yeah, but, but does the FCC have a what's the plan that the FCC has for health sector, for instance? What do you say? What plan do we have for <laughs> health sector? I mean, you're talking about building we, roads. No, what we have told you here how many hospitals we want to take up okay. in order to upgrade the hospitals. So, when you say what plan do we have, I've told you what we have put it in the budget. Look at this hospital, see what we intend to do. Look at this hospital, what we intend to do. Look at this hospital, what we intend to do. All these are planned for the health uh, sector. My, my business is to provide. Do you understand me? Why you allow the professionals to run the uh, hospitals? Just like schools. Our business is to provide schools that have facilities. That means to be that students are having quality education. Our business, my business is not to run the <laughs> at the schools. So, so, so. But then we do try to supervise what is going uh, mm -hmm. on. Okay. So, so what are all the general hospitals that you measured that are slated for 
upgrading uh, within the Municipal area. It's not correct. Well, 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 not. Well, 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 but it's a huge hospital, if completed, will go a long way in improving our health uh, sector. So, so, look, we cannot allow it. People want this. So, we are going to go back to take the uh, responsibility of putting it back to what people uh, expect. You know. Then, like I talk about the, the, the where uh, Guarapa. Yes. The problem we have here is that we cannot carry everything at the same time. Let nobody deceive you as a government that you want to take everything. It's not possible. Take as much you can to complete. Then you move to the next stage. But where you want to take everything, at the end of the day, you will not achieve well, anything. The, 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 question, the well, point I'm leading to actually is whether the area councils uh, feel the same impact that people in Abuja feel and see every day that Oh yes, something is going on inside Abuja. Can the area council oh. say confidently that oh, oh, we are feeling the impact oh, of look, the human look, and the look, and look, look. They, are, they, they are very happy. Why am I saying they are very happy? When we had this issue of security challenges then, and we tried to uh, sit down with stakeholders in the various area councils, and to them it's, it's a shock to them. They've never had this kind of uh, relationship. A minister coming to sit down with them, talk with them, assess what need do they require now. And then they tell the minister, okay, we want this. And the minister goes back to his boss, the president, and says, look, I went to Kujie today. See what Kujie people say they require now. I went to Kuali today, to tomorrow. See what they said. I, I, I will go to uh, Abaji, and I've gone, and see what they say. And the president said, look, why not go and provide them this? They identify mostly roads that some of these bandits, and which I can attest to, on Wednesday last week, I went to Buari, where they call uh, this road, uh, Etokula. Look, let me tell you the truth. Even the bandits go in there, it is easy for them to pack everybody. And that if you like, have the best equipment. There's no access for you to even say, let me chase these uh, bandits. I couldn't believe it. So I went there. We drove on the road. That contract is being handled by Esetraco. Right? You can see the happiness in the people. And that project will be completed before the end of the day. In fact, all the six area councils where we are doing roads now, all the projects will be completed before the end of the year. Then we have also made provision for them in the 2024 uh, uh, budget to also carry out six other important roads that they have identified. They've also told us, look, we don't have police station here, we don't have police stations here. We require them. All those, all those areas who have police. Not all, mm -hmm. but some council areas say, look, this is a major problem here. And we say, look, the president said, put it in the budget. And we included it in the 2024 uh, So the projects are project. based on needs assessment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's not a question of you sitting down here and saying, go and do so something for uh, what uh, the people request. Uh, what other area council. Mm -hmm. People say, what are they doing here? What is our interest? We, don't know, we never told you that this is our problem. So it is not need assessment. This is what we want. Like AMAC, when they choose this, I don't know what they call it, Zubairu or what, uh, Zubairu or what road, you know. You cannot see the happiness of the people. What's going on? They said this road has been a major headache. Go today, go and see what is going on there. Mm. I, was, I was there on Thursday, yes. I was there on Thursday. 
and the contractor is doing very well. Very, very well. We have know that you've done very well in terms of security. Now, what are you doing to sustain the temple? Uh, well, we just have to improve on what we have done before. Uh, like I said, uh, this time around, uh, by the grace of God, uh, now that the budget has sent it to we require, uh, um, uh, we are building a, a, a special, uh, you know what we call uh, a visual response uh, squad, you know. We are now, it's not about the normal uh, police headquarters, okay, FCT police headquarters, but this will be a joint uh, team between the, both the army, the police, the navy, the civil defense, the SSS, and make sure that it is well equipped. The command and control yes, center. Yes, and then and then we are also having a, a getting a drone down uh, for the security, who will man the command and control uh, uh, center, because having a drone is key, so that you be able to know when these bandits are moving in or when they are moving there. Uh, uh, out. So you'll be able to take a proactive uh, 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 decision. Are you thinking of CCTV? Well, let me say, CCTV is not what only the city can conceive. Mind you, the presidency is here. So you require the National Security Advisor, you require the DG SSS, you require the IG of Police. You cannot, on your own, where the presidency uh, is, for you to put uh, cameras everywhere. No, you have to involve, it's a national uh, uh, issue. But, but is the plan ongoing? Well, I think the plan is ongoing. And you see again, the, the issue is not just putting the cameras. Just take for example, as you are putting the cameras and it's being vandalized, just like you are putting a, 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 a solar or street light, the next day you come, it has been uh, vandalized. So, 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 so you, you need to really sit down and say, look, how do we go about it? So it's not uh, an issue where somebody says, look, I can supply CCTV. That's not what you are talking about. It's not about supplying. It's not about going to put the camera. It's about how do you protect them at the end of the day. So uh, if you say that you have achieved the whole essence of the CCTV. Talking about infrastructure a little bit and from the private sector's perspective, over the weekend we got a report that a private developer was accusing uh, the FCT administration and in, in fact yourself of ignoring uh, two existing uh, court orders and then went into his property and demolished. Mm. Oh. Well, you see, you know, the problem in this country, that is impunity. I've been doing it before. I'll continue to do it and nothing will uh, happen. Criminals are criminals. They may come in different ways. I've never seen like land grabbing in this city. I came in so much, so many petitions. So many petitions. One company called Braco over ten petitions, different different. Uh, owners of properties. So, I summoned a meeting of all of them. They came with their lawyers, senior advocates. And I said, look, what is this? Company A presented their own. Company B presented their own. View. Company C, Company D, Company E. I said, okay. I'm going to seek for advice from external solicitors. I'm not going to take from inside house because the legal secretariat and the land department have been so compromised. So I saw the views of very senior lawyers. Two of them wrote to be different opinions. But arriving at the same thing, first of all, what happened? This land, this so-called ethnic Jewish, talk about, was, was allocated when there was no minister. The minister left May 29th, 2023. By June, 
the land are allocated by by the of land. No, but he said he got what? approvals Listen, from the former if I tell you, FCT minister. If I tell you so many things, if I tell you so many things, it is not as they, you see, these are the things they are clever by half. When one met us, okay, company B, this, this, don't do anything again. Until we're able to take a final uh, decision. Do you know what happened? These guys, thinking they're too smart, went on, started fencing, and then they allocated the land to people to buy. How did I know? A lady came and said, Look, honorable minister, I want you to advise me that the place I want to buy land. I said, Why are you buying land? Is it so serious? I said, hey, no. We're having a problem with the, with the pursuit. Don't, don't. Another time, the lady came back. It's a friend of mine, came back. So look, you're telling me, but people are buying buildings. Say what? Now, I was going to commission the biggest water park at Sunrise. So I passed, it was the same area. I said, what is going on? Then I commissioned the water park. And then, do you know that for me to commission that water park, it was, it was a Friday. The, on a Thursday, this same company called Praco and their allies have gone to court, stopping me from commissioning the water park project. And align with the NCT lawyer. You see how fortunate these guys can be? Unfortunately, they didn't get the injunction. I drove from that place, came back, and called the general counsel. Come. Who is doing this case for FCT? He said, an external lawyer. External lawyer? Call the external lawyer. Get us our file back. How can you go and compromise with a plaintiff against us? I mean, I've never seen people who are so fortunate in life. What they do here, they sue you. They sue me as FC minister. I'm not aware of the suit. Because he claimed that there are two, two subsisting so, organizations. Not, hold on. Look. You know these guys? They think we're PDP and Ambra State. <laughs> that is their job. They have consciousness in their pocket. These are people... That's what that's how they keep PDP in Alhambra State. They can produce court orders, judgments overnight. And I told them, you are wasting time. So there was no court injunction. I have that. told you who served me. Who served me any court injunction? In any case, we all agreed nobody should do anything. And then you are still thinking that you, 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 you are clever. Begin to sell the land. Okay, let me let me just tell you. What is investment? You ask government that to give you land for mass housing. It's not correct. Where are you building housing? The, the, the houses. You are not selling the land to individuals who are not building the houses. So what is the benefit of uh, government? What they do, they tell the government, look, we need 300 hectares. We are willing to develop mass housing. They will not do anything. They become land speculators. And then make money. Hmm. It's so embarrassing. I got a text from these so-called land grabbers. They call them the, one of the things, the line news, Silka Chuku and this. You know what they told me the text? They call us. No, Linus. That's one Linus. That's one uh, Nicholas. Nicholas. They are the same. The one is Nicholas Okachuku. Yeah, they are Nicholas Okachuku. This one is uh, Linus Okachuku. I don't know him. I've never met him. So send me text. I have the text in my phone. I have no respect. So oh, you told your Ikwere brothers that you want to deal with Ibos. Look at such a black man. The man we are talking about, did he give it to Ibos? How can you think that you are too smart 
to come and begin to tell public. I said I will deal with Igbos. I mean, and people can sit down and listen to such a thing. Look, as far as I'm concerned in this city, it is no longer going to be business as a mm. usual. Okay. If you don't want to follow, now, even if you come to ask for land, I will ask you, show me your financial capacity. Two, give me the duration within which to develop the place. If that duration expires, as it is entitled to take by their property. People come here, tell you that, look, they have partner, they want to develop 200 hectares of land. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking that you want really the LCD to, you know, to be developed? And you go and allocate 200 hectares of land. So, in this case, in let, in let, let me finish. This, some of these allocations mm -hmm. are illegal. Mm -hmm. We are not afraid of court. But we, know, we, have, we have not known their, 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 their tricks. Yeah. But Most the, of the, 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 place, the police the place was also in accordance with the template that the FCD administration uses. Because what they are saying is that this is a disincentive to investors. Which, which, what if is, people have invested uh, and they are building, let, let me tell you, are you moving let, 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 let me tell you, what is the investing? That is selling our land to people is investment. Why didn't you sell it ourselves? What is the investment? Now you are selling land to people to build the house is an investment. Look at, I still go to Sunrise. See what they call investment. See what they call creation of job. B building the biggest water park. Employing people. Creating wealth. If you come to say, look, I want to do this. I want to build a leisure park that will create job, that will create revenue. That would be called investment. Not where you say, even though I know it's an illegal allocation, government give me land, we want to build houses. Mm. So, and government gives you land. Mm -hmm. You don't build any house. You go and start allocating to individuals who are now buying from you. And then building themselves. And building themselves. And that appreciated the, the original intention of... Of course, land. of course. But so so how good. is the battle... The what current would, situation would, now? Would it, wouldn't it be better yes. if the uh, FCT administration pursues a legal means of resolving of the demolition what, 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 legal what, means what, which is to what, what, terminate, excuse terminate excuse the me. allocation uh, legally? Uh, excuse Most of what you said it was Hold on. Even when you hear stories, I have told you here, FCT is no longer going to be PDP and AMRA. I have told you that. All these judgments and orders you think Overnight, you go and get it. will no longer work. Two, your connivance with the legal secretary here. Do you know that they can go and serve them? Serve land administration? But a court judgment is a court judgment. Hold on. Have you seen the court judgment? Is it that you just hear there's a court judgment? Go and read the court judgment. Whether the court says the land is their own. Have you seen it? There's no issue of title of judgment of, 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 of the. Of the, uh, 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 of the land. Okay. Now the what happened was that. What, is, what, is what, the next what happened was this. It's a long process. What happened was this. They went to court to say, court, tell FCD to return the documents, our documents they are holding. Do you understand what I'm saying? Were you holding their documents? I said, they went to court. Yes. And I met this matters here. Yeah. Not as I came. Please, so that everybody should have that. But this month, there should be over 1,000 cases. All land, land, land. All land. And the court said, FC, uh, FCD, uh, FCT, release their document. They release their document. Does that show that you have title to the land? Hmm. So, uh, and, and what, 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 what is the current position this, now with that 214 hectares? No, there's no way they can go in there. It's not their land. FCT is taking it over. It is our property. What document? What you, you see, about uh, I have told you, these are things that is a long story. If you look at, it's a long story, and these are specialists. They have no job other than penetrate the land administration, do all the deals. You know, do you know that even when they file suit against us, 
they make a deal with the legal secretary. They bring an external lawyer. Where the matter, where the case we assign to, from that to that external lawyer. Mm. Then the external lawyer will, will go to court and agree with them. And judgment, <laughs> judgment will be filed against FC. I've never seen how corrupt human beings can be. What, what? So the point we are making, all this issue of sentiment, I have sat here, revoked people's land that by law we have power to do it because they don't comply. Nobody has said, oh, you revoked me because I'm a Yoruba man. Nobody has said, oh, you revoked me because I'm an Osa man. What has got to do with you want to deal with Ibus? What kind of crazy childish sentiment is that? Who will buy that? Okay, you are assuming because you are an Igbo man. Are the Igbos, do they have any benefit from that land? They are not shouting that, oh, I want to deal with Igbos. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. What measures are you putting in place, pardon me, to discipline or to correct those people who are usually oh, conniving oh, 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 yes. with you external know, people? Yes. Now, you know the problem we have. Dealing with civil servants mm. is a different procedure. If, was, if they were political appointees, I would have fired them immediately. But you have to follow procedure. Luckily now, we have civil service uh, commission. Where they cannot discipline you. As I speak to you now, I'm to publish the transfer of directors today. If I tell you the amount of lobbying Moving one director from here to this is a problem. Why? I don't understand how people think that we want to move forward in this country and we must continue to do things the same way. Just move this director here to this place. Now he goes, that I moved him because he's an outside man. Of course, he's a Muslim. Or I moved this person to this place. Or I moved him because he's an Igbo man. I, I, I can't believe this. And meanwhile, the same man who is talking about so-called Ibu, ask him, who is the chairman of the Civil Service Commission? An Ibu, a, a, an Ibu man. Who nominated him to president of our recommended to the president? The first chairman of the Civil Service Commission of the FCT. He's an Ibu man. From Anambra. And then you come and tell people, I want to fight the Ibus because you want to go and steal land. <laughs> because you, you think that you are the only one who can go to court. I'm not, we're not afraid of that. But things must be done right. I will not agree. If you like, go to all the national television. Carry a judgment where they are so-called judgment, wave it like this. Well, we'll meet in court. So, I'm not interested. But we are not PDP Anambra. We are not, and we can't be. Your Excellency, just to bring it back a little, there, there was uh, everybody came to the table. Yeah. You mentioned several companies. And yes. You said they stay yes. Is that process over now? That's what I'm saying. Why, why we are trying to do that? He violated it. I'm thinking that he's too smart by going to first and begin to sell the land. Now, if we allow you to finish selling the land, have you, what are we to do it? As it is now. The land has rattled back to the... As far as we are concerned, everybody who bought or who tries to buy is their own risk. No compensation? Compensation for what? Do you have anything there in the first place? Honorable Mr. To compensate you. Somebody is complaining about the activities of this um, vehicle inspection officers. Uh, he said it is being done in Lagos where those... How, when do you intend to automate you know, their operations? that they just stand on the road and most of the accidents we have right now and the um, traffic snare that is caused by this VIOs. You know, <laughs> in Nigeria, there's everything you complain. Land you complain, VIO you complain. We cannot do everything at the same uh, time. Take everything, come process, one by one, one by one, one by one. You see, when you have so much problems, you have to take the one that is more important and resolve those uh, problems. Then you move to the next uh, stage. Now, if it's a transport system, do we really have a transport system? 
I left city before I came on board. We are trying to put those things in order. But our major headache in, in this FCT now is what? Land grabbing. Land grabbing. The moment you have been able to put this in order, you have achieved, because first of all, it is our major revenue and in terms of uh, 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 ground rent, ground rent uh, CO4, uh, consent, you know, like you can see the file there, it's for me to sign consent for those approved for consent, try to go and pay, and then get the approvals and the rest of it. Right? Now, you know, before, so many people will come here, the child and the minister, give you all kinds of proposals, this is for you, this is for you, this is for that. And, see, it's, it's not everybody, like, and there's nothing I do. I have not briefed Mr. President. There's no decision. I go and brief Mr. President. See this. See this. See this. Some people are clever by half. Just like we are all seated here. Who all agreed? Hold on. Give us time. And then we're able to take a final decision. What disrespect is that? Then you turn around to blackmail us. Some of them say, well, the, that so-called Linus was sending me text, go and ask Chris over whom I am. If I show you, I'll, I'll show the tax for it. it there's no insult. Oh, I, I want to take the land for myself. There's no kind of blackmail. But he doesn't know that for people like us, it doesn't work. And they have asked the president to investigate you and possibly remove you that you are creating problems. No pro well, well, you are creating well, problems. Well. Yes, it is left for Mr. President. It is left for Mr. President. You know why? They can't get it easy again the way they used to get it. I'm not available. I've told them that. Oh, no, In fact, the Nicola when... Fukachuku was seated where you are now. Oh. This is why he, he sat. His lawyer sat there. I can just remember. And I told him, I said, listen, don't bring this evil style of uh, RNG, cut orders, and uh, judgment. You know me, it won't work. Those things you know. We do, we, we know. You know, we know you people. Don't do this fast movement. It will not work. So, what up? Well, did I tell you that I'll be here forever as a minister of uh, FCT? Was I elected? I was just appointed. So, any day, any time. Any day, any time. So, it's not him or them telling Mr. President to remove me to uh, the, the city that is alive now. You want to tell President? Two, two to quick words. Yes. First, you told us about the movement of directors, yes, vertically and horizontally, yes, and all of that. yes. The pressure has it, have you buckled under the pressure? You need to step down. The second one to yes, that is yes. the, this land department. Mm. In view of the constant headache that the administration is getting as a result of land allocation and all of that, are you giving special attention to the land department? Maybe re. Like, Massive like, reorganization like, the place. like, the surgical operation we are carrying out is majorly in land, in the development control, in urban and regional uh, planning, ages. That's why we are having a surgical uh, operation. You know, in any step you take to correct things, people will fight you back. They will give you all sorts of... Uh, uh, names. I will not go to Boko. I'm not going to, you know, tell you that, okay, because of this, I'm related to this uh, high chief here. I'm related to this uh, almighty person there. No. 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 I know this will come. I know it will come. Remember, when I came on board, I said, those of you who have not paid their grand rent, those of you who have not developed their land since it was given to you, which you have uh, you've not complied, if from social time to social time you don't comply, I'm going to revoke. There are no all kinds of abuse they don't give me. You think that is a uh, river state, you think that is a... That's okay. When the time comes, you know, I'll do it.
Have you started revoking? I have done it. <laughs> <laughs> I have done it. But you see, you see, you see, you, see, you, see, you, you know, uh, so many people think that uh, you are so hungry that uh, I will come and pretend so that I can retain my, my position as an FCT. What for? Hmm. But could there but be some, cases some, where some people could be perhaps giving, you know, uh, soft landing, maybe they have genuine reasons why... No, some people have applied to me hmm. and said, look, this was not the case. This hmm. is the case. And I call for the records. And you can say, okay, reinstate. Reinstate. So many people have done that. Some have also considered you we are guilty. Huh. There's no need. Can you allow us? We are going to okay. do this immunity. I said, okay, sign. And they sign. I said, okay, reinstate. To tell you, it's not anything personal. Now, let me tell you, and this will consign you. Our AIT. Yes, let, let, let me tell you. There's a problem between AIT and the uh, FCT. Yes. You know that? Yes. It's happening in court. You know, the, the, the founder of AIT, the late, uh, we say, you know, we're not in good terms politically. You know that? Before he died, you, you know that? Are you asking me, sir? So? Yes, you know very well. You are from there. I know that. You know that? There was nothing people didn't say. Two, three nights ago, his children came to me. Say, look, look. I said, listen, I'm not here. Even though your dad and I were not uh, uh, good politically, I cannot allow this to happen to you. Do you understand me? They asked, okay. I called the director of land, called the director, called the uh, ES FCDA, called the director of my original planning. I said, let me go and visit the place. That was on a Thursday. Precisely. Around five, we went there. Ha! Ah, look at how um, the house is on top. Yeah, and the house is covered. There is a Linda Choker Street. Mm. So they are blasting the rock. Ah. I said, what is this? Brother. You did what? You allocated this rock to people. See where somebody is living on top. Hmm. I said, something must be wrong with you. Go and get me a memo. Bring it. I'm going to sign it now. I have to cancel that this allocation. And this is wickedness. Thank you, sir. And I said, come on, bring your paper. I get them back the place. Thank you, sir. Because what is wrong is wrong. I'm just giving you as an example. The students were shocked. I mean, why do I have to? You have seen what is wrong. Simply because you didn't have a good relationship. Therefore, you visit the same of the parents of the children. Why? I, I mean, everybody knows my position. That, look, politically, I was not in good relationship with their father. So, should that be why I must continue when the man is no longer uh, alive? I said, come on, take back your property. I cannot accept this. Now, if I have not done that, people would have said, oh, you know now, you know, when the boss was alive, he has continued with that. Uh, <laughs> so, people who build all kind of uh, 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 all, all kind of things. So that's why I said, you must be aware. And I've told them, go and do the matter in court. Take back your property. I won't be here and see such a thing happen. I don't mind the criticisms of AIT against me. Up to now as in government. Yes. If you watch AIT, there's nothing good about this government. Seriously? That's not you. Just watch their political events. You will laugh. Your Excellency. I could capitalize on that. Your Excellency, no, no, this is a convenient no, point no, to take a break. No, I won't take a break. <laughs> I won't take a break. I will not take a break. So that people will know about you people. <laughs> if, 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 that does not even good in this government. I've already had this concern. But, I don't know. That's just not my business. But we have to, to be done. Yeah.
We have to Night go. Night after you are going on break. We have to go. We have to go on break. We'll be back after two minutes. <laughs> We're going on a short break. Two minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> Experience, information, and entertainment.